everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So I got a tip or two. I should tell you one of them telling me I should read carefully, which of course is true. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for that, Bob the Big Bat, and also thanks to Harry for telling me what I eventually figured out about that uh, flux crystal. Anyway, today I'm actually in a bit of a quandary where to go with this pack because there's lots of options again. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually try to complete some bits and pieces and some quests. One thing I discovered is that some of the recipes have changed. So let's start with that one, shall we? One of the recipes that's changed seems to be the, um, I've got a piece of refined uranium on there. I shall show you what that's for in a while. One of the recipes that seems to have changed is the growth crystal. And I actually think the behavior of the growth crystals also changed a bit. Let me just sort this. Because what I want is in here. So to make a growth crystal, we need a sea land. I think we need some of this stuff anyway. Speed potion. Now, in fact, there actually is quite a few bits and pieces of need for this. And the potions we can't actually make. So I've so made a bit of a mistake. So let's have a look at this one. Um, I was going to make a soul cage, but that was just to complete the quest. It's already completed. Uh, alchemy. Let's have a look at the growth crystal. So this is a tier one growth crystal. So the difficulty here is this potion of swiftness, which says we can make it in the bottling machine from potion of swiftness. We can also do it in a fluid transposer. So we've got to make this potion of swiftness first of all, and we do that in an alchemical imbuder with some sugar, and that should give us this in my speed for three minutes which is what we want so let's make the alchemical imbuder to start with and we're also going to make the one that goes with it a fractioning skill a uh, still i think skill so we need the alchemical imbuder that's the animal growth i always seem to get them too wrong this one imbuer so what do I need? So I need a brewing stand, Constantan gears, red cell reception cool, machine frame and a hard glass I've already got. So let's get that out of the inventory first of all. I have to do it here, don't I? So constant I got them all prepared. I got those. I need I need this, we need glass, we need a brewing stand. And I think that's everything we need. So a redstone conductive coil we don't need that just yet so let's try that again so we've made one of these and a fractioning still is similar to that so let's look at that one I'll tell you what let's look for still might be easier Somehow that comes up in both of those two searches. Here we go, a fractionating still basic. So we need a nickel gear, two pieces of ordinary glass. So let's get that out of our inventory again. It will also do with clear glass. So we can use clear glass and we've got a nickel gear here already prepared. Aren't I good today? So that's just a shift click basically and we make a fractioning still. And for the fractioning still, I think if we look at the uses of these two, we have a, a reflux column and an alchemical retort. So an alchemical retort, let's look at the recipe for that, is this one. So we need a signal and gear, two lead plates, one conductance coil and one cauldron. I'm going to make this because I've actually prepared the ingredients for it. I don't know what it does, except for makes a few other bits and pieces. So let's have a look at that one. So we need one of these reception coils, conductive, two lead plates, and a cauldron, I think, was what we needed for that. So let's go and craft that one. So let's go to the uses of this one. Oh, wrong one. The fractioning, oh, it's already here. Look. So I can click this into place. So now I've got that one, and the other one of those was very similar. Let's have a look. It was this one here, a reflux column. So if you look at the if you look at the uses of these, we'll see that in a second. So let's do that. Uses of that one, and that's basically making that 
<laughs> I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Refined fuel from naphtha or whatever it was pronounced. So that's basically making fuel. I guess the fuel is going to be used in something like advanced rocketry. And this one here, the chemical retort, is basically take a splash potion of leaping, which is 30 sec seconds, making it into one which is a jump boost for. So that's basically refining the the potions again, as you can see, that then becomes potion three. So they'll become the next one up, the stronger one. And there are lots of these recipes. So I think we'll use those later on. Now, the reason I needed that is we need to make, we'll get some bottles. Let's get some bottles first of all. Oh, have I got any bottles made? No, let's go make a couple of bottles with some glass on our way out to put this stuff down. Probably need water as well, don't I? So let's go and put this down. And I'm going to put it where the one that didn't work <laughs> is. And I think that's the potion brewer. And you can see, none of these things actually worked. Oh, I've got some bottles in there and some bottles of water. Fantastic. So this one was there on the useless side. Let's just move these blocks out of there because these are for the growth crystal. So before we can make the growth crystal, we've got to make the other bit, the the potion. So let's do that. I want a tool out of here. I want my RF tools wrench, this one. I'll go back to this tab. So we can shift right click this way. Oh, of course it's not RF tools. It's industrial full going, which is basically just a pick. Let's put this down. Uh, I don't need that now. I don't think we use it at all. Chemical imbuer. So now I guess it needs water and it needs power. Well, it's getting power because of the thing. Um, so we need to give it some water. I've got a bucket of water. That'll do. Oops, nearly right. Nearly clicked that correctly. There we go. Like that. So I guess now if we right click this one, I'm sure I want to click it with an empty hand or something like that, so don't pick it up. We could go and get some more water, let's go and get some more water. Have I got some more buckets with it? Two will do, I think. Oh, I've got three. Have I got space for three? I think so. We've got water over here, let's just get this water out of here. And that'll fill it up anyway. Ah, good. I can't hit the re um, the vines. <laughs> right, okay, let's have a go. Yeah, that works. That should now be full. Why did that bucket disappear after? Oh, I only had three, didn't I? So let's look at this. Now, that's now full. So it should give us recipes. So the one we need, I guess, is speed, splash potion of harming, regeneration. And I think it's the one with sugar. So let's have a look if we can find one with sugar. Dragon's breath. I'm pretty sure it's with sugar, but <laughs> I don't think we use water to start with. Gosh, lots of recipes in here, aren't there? Here we go. So we need Awkward Lingering Potion that will give me speed three, and I think that's all we need. Let's just have a look. How do we make this one? Oh, thank you very much. Don't on that one. So we can do another wart, and I guess that's lingering, po lingering Potion. How do we make that? So it's more steps in this one, if I can click it, actually. Where do I get? Oh, wrong one. Splash Potion, no effects. I hope that's not the only recipe for this, because that's Dragon's Beth. To make that would be just a bit silly. Splash Potion with Dragon's Beth like Lingering Potion. I wonder if that's the wrong one. Because. Let's go and have a look at this recipe for the Growth Crystal. I don't think we need to go to the end to get Dragon's Breath. That would be a 
bit over the top, wouldn't it? So if we look at the recipe for growth crystal here, we need these three minutes. Okay, bone block, no problem. Sea planter, no problem. We got those from Overworld, and we can make them anyway. Iron ingots, no problem. Potion of swiftness, problem. So let's have a look. So we make it from potion of swiftness here. If I can actually click on it, ah, oh, I think it's already found it actually. So that should go with awkward potion. Oh, okay, that makes better sense. Phew. So awkward potion is made with water and nether wart. Excellent. Okay. Good, let's, um, so now we should have some nether wart. We've got some in here. I don't know how much it's going to make. And I've probably got to get four. So let's right click that onto that and push this into there. And sure enough, that's making this. Now I don't know how much it uses, whether it's smart, like, so it's made 750. <laughs> well, that means we need another four of those, don't we? So we need five for the 4,000, I think. Oh, look. Ooh. I've got, I've got flight, don't I? Let's go and get these two. Means hearts, you see. And well, it ain't too difficult. Actually, if I can find my thing, where have I got my oh, it's here, look. Oops. I don't care about those two. Well, I got one heart out of them. It's not too bad. Better than none. So sorry about that little distraction. But you do fly fast with this um with this armor though. Really fast. And not having any fall damage is even better. So let's eat that. <laughs> oh. Uh let's put this one into here. Right. Oh this is doing quite nicely now, I think. If you look in here, you see we've almost got a row of uh stacks of Supremium essence, and in here we've got a stack and almost oh, stack and half of Supremium. That's Supremium, and this is su Superium. Wow, I was going to get some nether wart, wasn't I? Now, nether wart doesn't grow here. I suspect we can grow it in the phytogenic isolator, and I suspect that's also a reward. So, let's have a look. Another wart. Where am I keeping it? I think I'm keeping it in here. Oh, well, with that one. I'm going to keep it anywhere, and I'm having difficulty seeing it. Tell you what, let's do this. No, it's not in there. It's not in there, it won't be in there. I think I've moved it. Oh no, look, four. That's just a double click on that but on that search bar if you've never seen that before. So our next problem is to get this out of here. Um, well, we've got a drum. Let's just pipe it into a drum, shall we? The drum's empty at the moment, so I just need a piece of pipe. And I made this super laminated flux stoke just for fun. Which one is it just doing now? Let's hope that it's... I guess it took the right stuff out, didn't it? What have we got in here? 250 millilitres of water, so we need half a bucket. Oh, I think this might do it, actually. Can I put it in here? Ha! Huh. I need to get that water out of there, don't I? But this one's taken it out already, so this must be... Um, let's right-click it and see what we've got in here. Potion. Brilliant. <laughs> so we need another two... How am I going to get half a... Half a bucket of water into here? That's going to be, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? Can we take, we can't take it out for certain. And I really do need to use this with fluid transposer. Let's have a look at this. Well, there's nothing in it at the moment. 
And by the way, this suit stuff is, is also related to Ember, and I think Ember has to be done in the overworld at bedrock level, so I'm not doing that at the moment, so I must have, I messed that up a bit. Um, but I also haven't done enough research to figure that one out. So what am I trying to do? I'm trying to get a way to get this stuff out of here, don't I? So I'll look what I've got in here. Fluid duct. Have I got another tank or drum available? I've got I've got duct here. Item duct and hardened fluid ducts, that's no big deal. So you just need a tank or something. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's see if we can make another um fluid transposer. I think we're gonna it would be nice to have a second one, wouldn't it? Here we go. So we need two copper gears, one redstone reception coil, machine frame. No, oh, that's not too big difficult, is it? And a bucket, so we can do all of that. So copper ingots should be in here, and I th think copper gears. It said, didn't it? Copper gears. We got four. Fantastic. Um, redstone reception coil was the other one, wasn't it? So what we can actually do from that one? This is just a block of iron. Which I could have taken from here directly, but uh, a redstone reception coil. Yeah. Missing gold. Okay. Well, that's good. I oh, see. I moved this out of the way as well. One piece of gold. It's probably not a very sensible amount. That <laughs> probably needs some more. Uh, let's put the block of iron into here because this just takes a second to do. Like that. And then two pieces of glass, which I should have got from here. I'll tell you what I can use. I can use the clear glass because I've finished with that. There isn't any in there, and there isn't any in there, and there isn't any in there. And there isn't any in there. Oh, I'll have to put the glass. I'll tell you what, I'll have to use this glass. I know I've got some glass on me. So, where's the reception go? Of course I didn't make one, did I? So now we should be able to make this. We're also going to need some redstone energy duct. I think I've got plenty of that. I, th I think we've got to go underneath here. I probably could move this. I can't move this. Oh, I can actually move this very easily. Thinking about it. Let's move this out of the way. Let's move this up. Because underneath here we've got all of the fl uh, flux duct coming out through here. And don't forget, I've got to show you something else which I sort of already knew but as a sort of a discovery I found again oh, I have to transfer right oh, okay that was for the um how does it break it oh yes of course it does it is industry for going um what do I want I want K I want power there's no flux that will be fine we don't need anything special like that and then we can put it all down on top of here, fraction is still fluid trans. This one, which I prefer in that place anyway. Let me put this back on top of it like that, and we can get come into here. We simply put this one and the item stack upgrade into this. Transfer add on. So that's basically the one that pushes it out of the top. I think. And I actually needed configuring and whether yes projection up still still okay good. Let's put this let's fill that in. Those two good. So now we have power. And so what I want to do now is this fluid transposer. Let's put the fluid transposer at the end of this row. And of course I've got to now put down the uh, have I got my yes I got my magnet with me. Let's see. I 
think that dropped in a funny way. I saw it dropping it. I just, well, just a bit of nether, nether rack. So that'll do. So now we've got a fluid transposer. So this thing we can actually push it into here. How much water these? Take? I think these take 250, if I'm not mistaken. So if we, if I'm right, what we can do is we can put one of those into there and ask it to empty it. So we get 250. Great. So we can do a second one. That'll give us 500. And then from this side, I'm going to push this out on the right hand side, which it's not set up for. So we'll just do like that and it's ready to go out that side. This side, we can make this come in on the left hand side. Purple. So that's now got 750, which is great, which is exactly enough for one nether wart. It's a difficult number. But it does make sense because 750 is three bottles, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, I forgot where I put it. <laughs> Here we are. Control click. Thank you very much for that tip. So now we should be able to get this out of here. And we should have another, some awkward potion in this one here. So now what we can do is we can take this drum and use this as an input, can't we? So let's do that. Actually, yes, I can do that. Let's just shift click this off here. So we want this one now onto as an input. Okay, so that that's fine. So then we need to push the items out of the fluid out of here. Let's do that. So that should now be filling up with awkward potion. It's not got any in it. Mm. Tell you what, let's just turn that off. And let's get the book. I think it's got one and a half bucket so we should be able to take a bucket out of here shouldn't we or maybe I can even hit it with glass bottles I wonder if we can hit it with glass bottles no so I've got to do it a different way so a bucket should come out of there I should get one bucket of of this stuff awkward potion bucket fantastic so I can actually put that in there like that good uh, oh and I can take it out again so what I need to do now is I need another two. I need another little bit, but that's a bit awkward, isn't it? So we've got one. <laughs> uh -huh. So now we can take some sugar and we can feed that into here. So let's go and get some sugar. I didn't bring any with me, I don't think. Now, where have I got sugar? Do you know? I. Not 100% sure where I've got sugar. I know I've got some, but it's not a drop. Well, that's nitre, isn't it? Well, that's, we can make sugar anyway. What have we got there? Sugar, fantastic. Oh, lots of it actually. I'll take those, yes. Did I got a mirror offhand? So why can't I get this drum to feed itself into here? It's not a th if I put the drum on the top of it, what happens then? Nothing. I've got no inventory space available at the moment. Let's just move some stuff out of the way. Ender dust, I don't need that with me at the moment, do I? So let's just try, actually, let's try that on that, that cable there. See if we, on that, have we got some hardened fluid duct? Yes, I have. 
let's put this down here and put the drum on top of this and then put the servo into this yeah that works good so now we've got exactly one and a half buckets in there. that's fantastic so now we should be able to use two pieces of sugar where's the sugar gone to and we should get this potion of swiftness shouldn't we speed potion of swiftness fantastic so we've got three bottles worth there wow this is hard work so let's just we need two bottles of it so what we're going to then do is we're going to put this into the fluid transposer here this is nice and empty now and we want to get this in the fill mode so we'll do that like that so then the input is on this side let's shift click that and plus that so then inputs on the right hand side here so we need this one to be output i'm sure enough it's gone into here so we've already got our two bottles of and then we've got some more in here too so that's another four bottles so now i hope we can actually go and make Ah, growth crystal tier one now I since I've made one of these before I reckon there must be just a recipe change as I said already so let's what am I missing okay sea lantern I've got sea lantern where have I put my sea lantern I think it might be in here good so that's our growth one now the growth tier is tier two is actually not too much that's the one plus another star block which is easy now this one amethyst to block that's not too difficult and these end crystals are also not difficult and i'm just wondering if that's actually changed so i've already prepared all of that stuff so that's what we can actually do for the growth crystal tier two so i'm missing okay there's three types of block let's get those out of the thing I've got those already prepared as well four of those one of those and what was the other one growth crystal that one and these I think that should be enough actually oh the amorous block okay where did I get that from I must have picked it up from that mob let's have a look oh, it's there it is look so I did have everything prepared, that's fantastic. So now we've got this one, faster growth. Now the next one up, this used to have ender stuff in air, ender dragon stuff in it, but now it's not. So we're missing just one growth crystal, which we've got already, and a speed potion. Two. Now this is made from this. So I can get it. <laughs> I can't get it. Oh yes I can. So this is glowstone with potion of swiftness three minutes and that gives us potion of swiftness two for one and a half minutes now i have got one of the rewards i think we've got those yes this one here so we don't even need to go and make that because that's a what can i say not as easy as brewing in the old days shall we say and this growth crystal tier two here Oh, let's take this one down. So now we should be able to make a growth crystal tier three. I've done spent a whole episode making one item. Well, oh, two thirds of an episode making one item. So now we should be able to make this three tier three one. So fastest growth works in a nine by nine farm. Checks up to ten blocks down and. and can be used as a water sources sponges cannot be placed around it fine so now we've got this tier three and that is really a lot of work to make that let's get rid of these leggings by the way what i'm actually doing in that look i'm looking for at the moment which is witches hats because we need a it would be good to have a witches um thing as well now the middle of this is here put it up here this time it's a full block of water so that so this one what I was having a problem with before was water 
and we're still having a problem with water. Now before we didn't have any problem with water, this was working fine. So this is why I think things have changed a bit between versions. So if I look in here, I've also now got five, six places where I'm doing water and it's still not keeping up. Doesn't make sense. And I can't use this one. I wonder if something's changed or broken, I don't know. But that should be keeping up with this stuff. Because before I was using like two block, uh, two spaces and it was keeping up. We'll see. Now we've got a tier 3 crystal. Now let's see what it does. Now there are some more things I'd like to make. On my list of things to do. So I don't need those for the time being. I should go and put those somewhere sensible. Let's go and put those into one of these places. Which I haven't got any space for. In any of these chests by the way. Right, that'll do. Now, what else do I have on my list of things that I would like to make? Growth crystal, chemical imbued, alchemical imbued, a, a player interface. Because that was to do with the fusion core, wasn't it? Core, this thing. So what do we got in it? We need everything. So we've already made an empire. So I'm not making advanced machine relay. It's just a fairly straightforward and this player interface. So let's get the bits out of that we need for that. You see, this is pretty expensive. Ender casing, four blocks of diamonds, four blocks of and that's actually not a big deal. That's just four in a row and one dark crystal. That's no, that's no big, biggie either. So let's get those out of there. So I've got those, got that, got that, got this got those so let's have a look now for what we actually can do I think what I'd like to do is this one first so we've now got our player interface from actually editions fantastic so then we needed the empower and the advanced energy relay well, the advanced energy relay is actually fairly straightforward like that and the empower is straight like that. the recipe for this one is to use an energy relay with just Rustonia crystals and powered Inori crystals around it, which we've made already, so it's no big deal. This one's fairly straightforward. Lots, lots of redstone, but and you get four of them, so that's not too bad either. So I've got this one, so we should be able to make this thing now. Steel, fine. Let's try right, to click on here, so we can do it. And then sure enough, we've got our fusion core, crafting core. Wow! And that completes. A quest, fantastic. What else have I got in here? These, these are upgrades. Ah, yes, there's something else. What are the uses of this corrupted ingot? I forgot what I wanted to make. Oh, yeah, that was just to make a soul cage. Let's just make a soul cage because that's a quest that's been completed and I haven't made it. Um, sorry, I have to get that out of here like that. There is something else I want to make because I've got more components in here. <laughs> oh, and I don't know what it is. So look, Electrum Gear, that's one of the uses of that one. Unless I've already done it. Flux Linkage Concentrator. It might have been this one, actually. I think it's this one. Because, yeah, that's right. This one allows re items to be recharged very quickly. It's an uh, energetic infuser specialization. And there's two of those which are both interesting. And I've got the bits and pieces for that there. But first of all, let's make this salt cage. Just to complete that quest that sh should have been completed. And I missed the. I forgot to do it on the crafting table again. That completes that quest, which is already completed. And I'm not doing anything with salt cages. If in case you haven't guessed, I'll put that up there. I don't. Th oh, it would have taken the ambars from there, so of course it would have done. So then, let's have a look at these augments. There's two which are really interesting. So that was the one, the quick, the quick charge one. So let's go and get those bits out of there. Best to get this stuff in here of what I need for this. And why well, have we got a block of iron? Don't need the buckets, let's put that. Don't need this, don't need this. That was the potion of swiftness, too, which we got already. 
And that's the potion brewer. So, okay, I can put those back. That's just everything I need now. So this is the more interesting one because it makes things charge up faster. So that's pretty good by the looks of it. The other one that's interesting is this one. Reconstruction. Allows damaged items to be repaired. So we have to give this one a go. So it's just a block of iron, two pieces of hardened glass, and an iron gear. So these two go into the energetic infuser. So unfortunately this is pretty empty, so it's going to be difficult to see if that makes a difference. But what we can do see whether or not we can actually repair some other things let's have a look so if I take this specialized reconstruction one in here for example and I got my arm was damaged let's say this is durability 2817 let's put this in here now is it working might not work on this. I'm not sure what items it does work on. And if it does work, it'll be using power. Ah, it probably needs something else, doesn't it? Let's have a look, share recipes. Okay, that charges certain quartz crystals. And it certainly charges up things like, maybe it doesn't work on this sort of stuff. Let's have a look. energetic infuser I'm just curious as to what this does let's have a look at the uses of this one oh, I did not have any especially with that other block and maybe I have to put something in here take it out oh yes it's definitely related <laughs> I wish it showed me what the recipes were <laughs> What's it supposed to have in that slot? That is the question. Let's have a look if we've got information. Feel the home. Yes, thank you. Right, okay. So, I reckon I have to do a little bit more research. Again. Anyway, that's what that was for. So, if we could actually take this out of here, put in this one, and then put in the this one. It'll be done. Yeah, okay. It was faster than it could be seen, and I thought that might happen. So anyway, it looks interesting, doesn't it? So let's put that in here for the time being. The other one, the wireless one I've taken out. Where have I put that, actually? I should put it with the same one. I must have put it somewhere. I have to find it. For the time being, I'll just keep it in my inventory here. So that's it I think in terms of things so that looks interesting the last, the last thing is was it uranium see these have all got a rate of five times so let's go and take this end one here now what I'm going to do here well, of course I got picked up a block of iron. I do get rid of some of this stuff on me because I'm me inventorious again full mm. to the brim monolith stone I think I was I was bashing some stuff around when I was in there and I haven't put this down actually either but we're going to do that that's a draconic evolution okay interesting uh, right what did I want to do I wanted some uranium where is it now have I got any uranium in there no I haven't okay but between episodes I did make a seed and as you can see I've now got 255 of these things let's take two stacks that will be more than enough to do what we want to do let's look at the uses of this so we need the uses of this one really this is going to give me 32 blocks of uh, ingots of uranium 
We can make three blocks of uranium. We can always cast this back again. Of course, it's not one. It's not. It's not an ir irreversible process. And I think I did this in the. I put one of these down in the overworld. Yeah, we'll go and do that in the overworld. How much XP have we got? Enough. Good. Yeah, look, there's, there's the block I made before. <laughs> I didn't even have a good place, but it'll be fine. So what we could do with this is break these, break these. Actually, I should have looked. We'll look at the next one along and put this one in here like that. Come around here. Now let's have a look at this. This one's six times. This one's eight times. This is making lava a lot faster than the other one. We well, a lot faster. Actually, it's quite a significant amount faster, so it's probably worth doing for the price of a seed. Because, oddly enough, these things make a, a lot of power. One of these makes 150 RF per tick, which is actually not a bad amount. And you think it's being powered with probably one of these to actually run, and it could run continuously. I don't think that's too bad at all. And it's free power. This isn't free power. This is, but it requires um, Ilorium. I'm not sure what state it's in at the moment. Oh, it's full up. And I'm not sure where the power it disappeared to. I think it went to the quarry, but I don't ask me why. But this isn't actually producing that much power at the moment. And I think it's probably because of this, the core being not 100% full. Temperatures are really good. I think the lower the temperature the better. When you think about it, this is just this is just one. It's actually a multi-block. It's actually it's almost the same size as this or this is actually almost the same size as that one. It's it's quite imp I'm quite impressed. Anyway, Since it's night time, is there anything else I've done? Nothing that I can think of. So, until next time, I'm going to, between now and next time, which is going to be the weekend, I have time to go and look at uh, Astral Sorcery a bit more and Embers, and both of which have been done by uh, Mischief of Mice or videos on there. So, I will try to do it in a way that he hasn't covered stuff. Anyway, until then, I'll say bye for now.